Now, those burnt bodies of seven young men discovered in Dipslut have once again highlighted the rampant crime in the area. Two bodies were discovered in the street in Extension 13, and police suspect they were uh, suspect rather that they were torched to death. Five others were found in Extension 12 a few hours later. No one has been arrested, and the reason behind it, the, uh, the deaths is still unknown. Although there are suspicions of vigil uh, vigilantism, Glini um, Itwaku, who is the Johannesburg Public Safety MMC joins us this hour for more. Uh, a very good afternoon to you, MMC. And I mean, these calls by the community of Dipslut are not new calls. They have practically been begging for some form of protection for most of this year. Just based on your assessment, visits on the ground and engagement with law enforcement authorities, how far has the city of Johannesburg come when it comes to the protection of communities like Dipslut? No, thank you very much for that. Um, I can actually confidently say that um, the uh, JMP did through and also the officers of JMP have been on, on, on the ground. We've uh, established the patrollers uh, in, in that area. And, and these patrollers are, are actually working uh, at night and you know patrolling the areas and all of that. And we've got the JMPD tactical response unit that are working with, with the actually them but uh, with this I I instance is um i even actually had to i was there early in the morning just to mm. check how are things going is that um, remember the jmpd we we do get the calls we 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 take these individuals to the police you know you know to the police stations which are there because jmpd we can only arrest but in terms of the processing of the individuals it's actually lies the one with the SEPs. Mm. 